Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on velocity time graphs. So in this video uh, we'll go over some key concepts and we'll look at interpreting a velocity time graph and then we'll do a couple of other videos on this topic uh, where we look at some example questions. Uh, so we'll start off looking at the key things to remember. Uh, the first of which is that the gradient uh, which you get from taking the height and dividing it by the width. Uh, so that's the velocity divided by the time. So gradient equals V divided by T, uh, and that gives you the acceleration. So following on from this first point then, uh, if you have a steeper gradient, uh, then what that means is that you have an increased acceleration. And we'll call it A for short. So if we have a look at this uh, black section of the line here, uh, this is much steeper than the red section. So that means the acceleration is greater. Acceleration is the rate of change of speed. Now here I should quickly point out that I'm using the term speed and velocity interchangeably. Uh, velocity is just speed in a particular direction, so that's just something to be aware of, but in this particular example uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but moving on then, the third thing you need to know is that if you have a flat section of the graph, uh, such as this section here, between 4 and 6 seconds, then that means you have a constant velocity. Uh, so if you have a constant velocity, we'll call it constant V for short, that means that your speed uh, is not changing. So your distance is changing, uh, but the speed is constant. So the fourth point then is that if you have a negative gradient, such as in this green section of the graph here, uh, so a negative, we'll just call it G, negative gradient, uh, what that means is that you are slowing down. Uh, so you're decelerating, uh, so acceleration is decreasing. So the final point then, point number five, is that the area under the graph, so that's the entire area here, which I'm highlighting in purple, uh, that is given by uh, velocity times time, which if you know your formula, uh, that is equal to distance traveled. So distance equals area under the graph. Uh, so those are the five points that you need to be aware of uh, with velocity time graphs. So let's have a quick look at an example now where we have to just describe a graph. So the speed time graph shows a 50 second car journey, describe the 50 second journey. Okay, uh, well it's divided into four sections, A, B, C and D, so we'll use those sections. So in section A, uh, first of all the time span is 10 seconds, so we can say that in 10 seconds, uh, now let's look at the change in speed, it goes from 0 meters per second to 15. So in 10 seconds, uh, accelerated from 0 to 15 kilometers, sorry, meters uh, per second. Okay, and now we'll move on to part B. Uh, so in part B, the line is flat, uh, and that's a time span of 10 seconds again. So in 10 seconds, now a flat line doesn't mean we've stopped, it just means we've got a constant speed. So in 10 seconds, traveled at constant speed. Okay. So uh, moving on to part C of the graph, so section C, uh, we can see that again, this is a time span of 10 seconds, uh, but this time we've gone from a speed of 15 meters per second to 25 meters per second. So we've accelerated, excuse my handwriting here, from 15 to 25 meters per second. And then finally in section D, I'm just gonna write it up here where there's space. Uh, you can see that we've gone from a speed of 25 meters per second uh, to a speed of zero meters per second. Uh, so that's going from 25 to a standstill. Uh, and the time span here is 20 seconds. So we can say in 20 seconds, uh, this time we've decelerated. So decelerated from 25 meters a second to uh, stationary. Okay, so that's uh, the entire graph described there. If you want to get some practice with some velocity time graph questions, then why not practice our online exam? Uh, you can get there through our revision platform and uh, there's loads of different questions to have a go at here. Uh, so you get instant feedback on each and every one of them, uh, which will allow you to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at and you need to improve on. Uh, so if you're interested, then click the link below. It will take you straight there.